shit, like dealing with this industry shit. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I think the biggest obstacle is colorism. And I'm going to just tell y'all the truth because I would like to kick with y'all. Yeah, let's kick, everything. let's big fact. Let's get, yeah, let's get to the fact. Yeah, I would like to be funny and have y'all kick in, but colorism is one of the biggest obstacles that not just myself, but a lot of women in this industry go go through. So Explain what that is because it, it's a lot of people out here that don't understand what that means. Yeah, they don't understand. And then there's a lot of people who like to ignore it. Like it's not something that affects you know, black woman, but it does affect us, and that's not playing the victim role. People think when people cry about colorism, they play a victim, but this shit is real. People will overlook you for somebody of a um a lighter color, a, a more slender nose, you know, a more European look. People will look over your talent and give your exact talent to them and say, go out there and act like Suki. Talk about sucking dick. Be sexually liberated. You feel me? Be ratchet like her. It's tables that tell their artists to look at me. You feel me? And that, that's not even what they do. Yeah, but I ain't never crying because I'm going to get this money regardless. You feel me? It's a lot of doors that I broke it down. You feel me? It's a lot of people that look up to me that look just like me. You feel me? So I want to inspire my sisters and motivate them so we can all get this money. You feel me? We just got to not ignore it, but recognize it. You feel me? That's what, that's what I think. 